Hi friends, let's continue our uh, discussion on the problem we were working on in the previous session, that's the Sudoku problem. So when we try to solve this problem, it is seen that uh, we need to address each column, each row, and each of this 3 by 3 grids. So, and we make sure that uh, in each of these, 1 to 9 appears only once. So, that's a rule of the game. So, when we tried to solve this problem previously, then we realized that uh, this problem is basically an exponential problem. So, it needs exponential time to solve the problem so we can call this an exponential time problem now we had uh, solved this problem using uh, something called uh, intuition working parallelly and then using our knowledge or intelligence so this uh, intuition knowledge intuition and intelligence cannot be put into a uh, code therefore we can't uh, say that that's a uh, what you say a uh, deterministic way of working so we can call this uh, non-deterministic way of solving this done on the other side now we can't uh, expect this whole thing as we did in the previous session this whole thing can be put into form of a code so this whole thing is still unknown uh, as far as the machine is concerned but assume that someone has solved this problem so some magically if it is solved maybe by human or any other thing then we get this result now the thing is we need to verify whether the solution what we got is correct or not so the correctness of the solution is to be verified so how can we do it okay see what all we need to do uh, nine numbers we have one through nine so we need to look for uh, nine numbers then look through nine rows look through nine columns and look through nine three by three grids so what are we trying to say just see one this one is it uh, occurring only once in this row yes of course is it only once in this column of course is it only once in this three by three grid yes of course so it passed the condition how about four yeah once only in this row only once this four can be seen in the column and four is seen only once in this so passed the test then five it is found only once in the row in the column in this grid passed three only once here row wise column wise you see only one three and in this grid there is only one three so passed two will pass 
this three you don't find any other three in this column no other three in this row no other three in this grid so passed so five passed eight passed two passed seven passed four passed nine passed and so on so in all what did we do we verified for each of these n by n numbers for each of these n by n numbers so there are totally n by n cells in the cell in this uh, game so for each of these we are checking one row one column and one grid so totally nine entries here nine entries here nine entries here are verified so that means so to verify whether one is there here only ones or not so just count how many ones are there how many ones are there how many ones are there in the row in the column so otherwise in every row just try to make a table so in each row how many one two three four five six seven eight nine are there so you will find everywhere one 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 so that will tell that the thing is right so in all how much time this verifier is going to take so definitely it is not going to be an exponential time and this is going to take a polynomial time for verification so we have this problem which is a exponential time to solve but a polynomial time to verify so such problem we call np problem now please don't ask me how this problem was solved yes the problem was solved somewhere it might have taken exponential time or whatever it is but yes but uh, finding whether the given solution is right or not so for example if you see that uh, instead of this as 2 3 if this was a 2 then it says that in this uh, row you will find two twos so the problem was with two and you will see that in this column there are two twos same way in this grid there are two twos uh, otherwise you can say that in this row three is missing in this column three is missing and in this grid three is missing so you can identify that a two here is not a correct answer a three here is definitely a correct answer so we can verify that in polynomial time but we don't know whether we can solve this in polynomial time yes that's still a question to be looked at so as of now we don't know whether we can solve this in polynomial time but yes we know that it is solvable in exponential time but if some magic gives us this solution then we can verify the correctness of this solution in polynomial time therefore it becomes a ENP problem.